ladies and gentlemen, if you love iris fragrances, stay tuned because I think you're going to appreciate this one. Good YouTube, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mike, Michael, Mikey Cologne, and if you're tuned in, thank you for doing so, people. Right, you see the intro. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about this iris fragrance that I have, and this thing is a smooth, smooth criminal, trust me. But I've got to say this from the get-go. This fragrance that I'm going to discuss with you today does lean a little bit on the feminine side, so, fellas, if you're watching this and you're not really into feminine, slightly floral fragrances, you might want to tune out for this one. But I don't care about that because I love Iris or Oris, however you want to pronounce it. And this thing, man, it smells so good. It is coming from the house of Miller Harris. And it is Violet Ada. Or Adia? I don't know. To me, I would say... It's pronounced Adia, I-D-A, but I'm probably butchering the name and I do apologise. Right, I'm going to read you the notes, show you the presentation, and then we are going to go from there. But people, I'm telling you, this thing is so good. It really is. Right, let's not get carried away, Michael. Right. So you've got the box there. This is a 100ml bottle. It is Ada Parfum Concentration and it is from the house Miller Harris. You have some additional information on the back. This says, a fragrance, confession, a powdered kiss at the end of the pier. Violet Adia is worn. What does that say? I can't even see it. I must need glasses. Right, we're going to skip it. It's got some information on the back, all right? I actually can't read that. I think the light's shining. It's gold writing. Right. So you have the fragrance bottle inside. Look at the colour of that bottle. As you can see, I'm holding it by the cap. It is a very, very snug fit. When I first sprayed this, it reminded me of the iris in Dior Homme Intense. That is what this fragrance reminded me of. They do completely different things, but just the way that iris come off in that initial opening, it did remind me of Dior Homme Intense. It really did. Right, so you've got the MH on the top. Nice, snug, fit cap. Atomizer, not bad at all. Let's spray a couple of sprays for you so you get to see it. Look at that, nice distribution. I'm going to spray on skin as well. It smells so good. Right, you've got Italian bergamot and carrot oil in the top. In the mid, you've got Oris Butter Heliotrope. And in the base, you've got vanilla and liquid amber. Not a complex note breakdown. And this is not a complex fragrance. But man, right, when this opens, it opens sweet, citrusy from that bergamot. You get the orris butter straight away. You get the carrot seed. You get the heliotrobe. So it's buttery, creamy, a tad floral. It's a little sweet. And then that vanilla does come into play quite quick. Once it starts drying down, the, the liquid amber, the way it's mixed with the vanilla and then the orris, it, it comes off a little bit powdery but it's smooth, it's creamy, it is very, very buttery. It, th this thing is a smooth criminal. It is so smooth. But like I say, people, it does lean on the feminine side because that heliotrobe is giving it a nice floral touch. This fragrance is called Violet. Right, on the official note breakdown, I couldn't find any Violet, but when I looked on the Miller Harris website at the bottom of the page 
when I was looking this one up. It did say vanilla, oris and violet, like as three of the main notes. I take it, to me, it must have violet in there, but if it has got violet in there, that's gonna come across sweet, that's gonna come across a little bit floral. You get that from the heliotrope. So if this has violet in there, I do not know. I can't specifically smell or pull out violet. But to me, this fragrance is all about the oris or the iris because it's basically there for the whole life of the fragrance and it smells so good. I am so glad that I have this in my collection. I'm going to say it again. If you like iris fragrances or you love them, sample this fragrance, people. I'm telling you, yes, it leans a little bit feminine, but I, that don't bother me in the slightest. Right. Where to wear this? I would wear this on a date night or if I was indoors with my other half having a cuddly night in front of the TV. It's just sensual, cuddly, cosy, warm, smooth, a little sweet. On skin, I'm getting anywhere between five and six hours. This is not a beast of a fragrance. The first hour is good projection, not massive, just good projection. Then it rains in a little bit. It's it's still radiating around the two and a half, three hour mark, but it's nothing crazy. Like People will have to get in your personal space to smell this fragrance. That is why I think it's good for date nights or indoors in front of the TV with your other half. So not a beast. It doesn't lack, I would say it's a medium moderate fragrance, but the iris in this, man, oh, it just, I love it. I really do. This is a great, great, great fragrance. And like I say, I'm gonna say it again and again and again. This leans on the feminine side of things because you've got the florals mixed in with the iris and you've got the vanilla in there and the heliotrope. So, gentlemen, just be wary. You might want to sample it first, but I'm telling you, that don't bother me at all. I don't care if it's slightly floral. I really, really don't. It's all about the iris for me. Right, people, let me know if you tried this fragrance. I know Miller Harris do some banger, banger fragrances in their collection. Let me know which one's your favourite from their lineup. Right, people, thank you for sticking with me. Remember, smelling good's always a pleasure and never a chore. And I will definitely see you on the next one. Cheers.